they said it's not possible to have a full screen review camera. Well, I made it possible. Hey guys, today, today we are going to change from this split view to this full screen view. And to do this, uh, you will need a little bit of skills and, um, uh, and experience with command line interface. There will not be anything difficult over here, but it's a good idea to know what you are doing instead of uh, blindly typing what someone is showing you in a tutorial. Of course, you need to make backup of the files that we are going to modify or replace. It's up to you if you are going to back it up onto your computer or made a local copy on the MIB2 unit, it's also possible. So let me show you what we are going to do right now. Okay, here we are. So first of all, we want to make sure that we are connected into the Wi-Fi made by the MIB2 unit. Of course, you can use a wired connection if you have the Delink USB to Ethernet adapter. That's your choice. It's safer uh, if you would do it uh, with uh, wired connection, of course, because you don't have the risk of uh, the wireless connection dropping. And we want to uh, SSH into the unit, connect it, uh, connect to the command line interface into the unit and provide the password. This password is for my unit, my version of the um, firmware installed in this uh, MIP2 uh, unit. It's the latest one for the Audi A3 with, uh, within the European specification. And we want to make sure that this uh, file system in the MIP2 unit is not read only. So we want to make sure that we can write some changes. And right now we can exit and we are back on the local machine okay and now let me just go up go up go up now we want to go uh, now we want to clone the repository that i made public earlier today and over there you will find all the assets needed to make this work in your vehicle and of course you are free to do it yourself you want to modify it um, your own way i just made it uh, um, in such way that it pleases my eye. This is this were those were my choices. So you are free to do your own work, and we are going to go into the Audi MH2 full screen directory. And inside we have the README file with a couple information. We have the preview with just the image, and we have the MH2 um, folder for the Audi. A3 and inside we have the original files this is my backup from the unit uh, if I need it or maybe if you need it but I strongly encourage you to make your own backup you can download uh, files from the unit to your local machine or you can even create backup on the um, MIP2 unit locally just copy the files with uh, that backup at the end and you will have uh, um, you will have uh, something to rely on if something goes wrong okay so let's go into the modification folder and inside we have a couple of things we have the png files with user interface uh, textures we have the kzb files those are uh, co containers with uh, mostly with textures that are also used by the user interface and we have the display manager json file which is responsible um, uh, for the video stream and how it looks oh i have a typo over here and right now we can even delete this right now we are going to do basically two things we are going to copy the display manager that json file which uh, will change how the video feed from the camera is displayed on the screen but in order to see the full um, uh, the full image the full feed on the display we need to also modify those textures that will be in our way i've added some op opacity to them so they are um, you can look through them and see the actual uh, video feed so okay let's do this start with this go each time is it asks you for the password you will not see it typed in you have to just believe that those characters are sent second thing it's again password 
done and surfing the OPS password okay and now we want to log in into the unit once again before the reboot okay ah, I have it over here and we want to issue command sync. This uh, makes sure that the um, storage buffer is actually saved on the storage device. It's not hanging somewhere if we reboot um, before uh, before the sync command is issued or before the um, storage is synced, we can lose some of our changes. Okay, so now let's do exit. And I believe, uh, I believe this is it. Okay, so let's stop this and without without changing anything this is the old view and now one two three reboot and let's hope let's hope it will work and since the review camera is an early app app that's um, available over here right away you can already press the button and we can already see that we have a full view with wider field of view with transparency over here let me just bring down the volume transparency over here so you can see through this uh, little uh, vehicle image we still have radar and the radar fields are transparent but the detected obstacles are actually um, uh, fully rendered over here okay so that's it I believe uh, awesome guys from the more incredible bash project will include this modification into the uh, great tool that the more incredible bash is but meanwhile you are free to experiment yourself using my repository and making those changes those are available free if you paid for this well the battery is weak if you paid for this some uh, to someone well you got ripped off Sorry to hear that. Okay, see you soon.